Trumpets of Truth International, serving up this food for thought. Well, hey, Joy, how are you? Hi, are you Robin. Oh, cleaning up this mess from the hurricane. The hurricane sure did give yeah, a mess. It did. It oh, did. I see your water and yeah. I'm going to help pick up some of these sticks oh, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't you paint the picture of the dogs on the kennel? Yes, I did. That is so nice. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <sighs> oh, and thank you for your help. Oh, absolutely. I cleaned up my house the other day. You know, <laughs> this morning I was reading in Second Peter where it talks about a new heaven and new earth. Yeah. And I got to wondering what it would be like. I mean, I've never experienced perfection. I've never seen a day in the world where someone wasn't sick or in pain. Me neither. A world mm. without chaos and confusion. I mean, I've just never experienced a time when all was good and everyone's righteous, always nice to one another. I agree. You know, I've been thinking too, I'm going to get a chair and sit down. I'll join you. Okay. Watch out for the hose. Yes, ma'am. So... I've been thinking, wouldn't it be neat if God's knowledge was in our mind's database and wisdom was the whole thinking our life was guided by? Oh, man. You no. Know, God said in Isaiah that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Mm -hmm. He also said he rejected mankind for choosing the wrong knowledge. Because they reject, and they rejected his. Yeah. You know, wouldn't it be neat if everyone today chose God's knowledge and everything was reversed? Oh, yes. Wow. A time when even our knee-jerk reaction would be perfect and within God's will. Just think, if we were perfected, Anything mm. we, that we wanted to last for eternity would oh. because it would be perfect. Yeah. You know, hmm. it's really hard to grasp the abilities <laughs> that God gave man originally. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And speaking of eternity and man's abilities in the beginning, Robin. Imagine no more death. Cool. We wouldn't have to say goodbye to our loved ones. We wouldn't ever have to cry another tear over the death of our pets. Or anything for that matter. All creation would be eternal. Before the fall of man, there was no mold. No decay, no pathogens, no viruses, no parasites, no pestilence, period. Yeah. And because everything is being so messed up in the world through the wrong thinking, even the creepy crawly things are out of order mm -hmm. and a nuisance. Just think, there'd be no need to kill them. Fly swatters pesticides <laughs> would become a thing of the past. Right? And the animals would actually be fun to be yeah. around. They wouldn't have their same mean instincts, predatory traits that were brought on by the, Satan's influence on the planet and the intrusions of the fallen angels. Oh, I know it. And we wouldn't be looking at these stupid cell phones 24-7 either. Reading about wars, abuse on children, 
on animals, seeing the evil side of society, witnessing the devastation that it's brought to earth. Mm -hmm. That is a big part of what's causing the anxiety and stress we see rampant in society today, Robin. Agreed. But you know, there's been so much brought on by the, the heartache brought on by the supernatural too. By the evil spirit Satan directs. Won't it be wonderful in the new earth to not have to experience these, <laughs> this warfare that these unseen spirits bring us? Yeah. <laughs> the headaches. The stomach pain. Inside nervousness, <sighs> mental problems, depression, oppression. The anger and frustration <sighs> that brings on rage and murder won't be a part of our life anymore. Mm. <sighs> but wouldn't it be super wonderful when we wake up in the morning with that feeling all is well, sensing childlike feeling of freedom, no trouble, no problem that couldn't be perfectly solved. <laughs> wow. Just think we will have God's knowledge mm. in our mind and wisdom will have found her home in our hearts. Oh. Mm. And if Adam and Eve could talk to God in the cool of the day, we will be able to also. <laughs> that is just too neat. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I'm talking to God, like I'm talking to you. Oh, oh wow. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> you know, Robin, I don't know about you. But I have seen enough evil and the ugliness of this world. I really want it over. I know it's a fact God set a timeline for Satan, giving him time to see all the things he decreed would fail. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, those of mankind who follow him would be in the same timeline too, right along with the evil angels that left their heavenly home to dwell here on earth. Yeah, they married outside their species, took wives from the daughters of men, altering the whole human race from God's perfection, made us inferior. That's why all the sickness but thank the Lord we can be born again and altered back to God's oh, image again. Yes, thank you, Lord. <sighs> He's so beautiful. I know. But the fact remains, we're all held prisoners within this timeline. To this day, the heartaches we experience should show us the hopelessness of not obeying his law, hearing his voice as he gave instruction for a perfect life. This timeline should prove to all earth's creation, they cannot function without the tree of life, Jesus. Well, man will learn without a doubt, they can do nothing without yeah. God. There will be more and more situations and irreversible damage. How long this timeline is? How much time God has allotted for us to learn these things? Only the Father knows. Well, because unfortunately, because of Satan and his top dog pride, man who doesn't like to be told how to do anything, will remain lawless and, and die. But you know, I'm so looking forward to God's covenant with mankind. His promises of restoration of all creation to be fulfilled. Well, you know, the promises that he made to Abraham, 
Isaac and Jacob have already been fulfilled. <laughs> the promise for a Messiah mm. to bring salvation has also been consummated. It's been done. <laughs> yeah. And according to all the signs in the Bible concerning the end times, Robin, it looks like we're finally reaching the end to the timeline. Oh, that would be so nice. <laughs> but you know, there's people that believe it won't happen in our lifetime. They say people have been talking about it for years. I know, but in Matthew 24, there's a real clue. Mm -hmm. It says there's a generation of people that have seen all these happenings in their, gener in their generation, in their lifetime. And it's these ones that will not pass away till the end comes. Well, you know, the funny part about all this is the cell phone. Being the biggest technical device <laughs> created by Satan through man to tear down our yeah. morals, feed us the wrong language, and put the knowledge at our fingertips. I don't have my cell phone, so I, you know. <laughs> actually gives us a worldwide vision. <gasps> yeah, because we have seen all the earthquakes tornadoes, hurricanes that take place. We've seen blood moons. We've seen the sun darkened by the solar eclipse. We've seen fires, yeah. floods, and drought. Every sign has been fulfilled. This generation, our generation, has seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> I am so ready for God to bring an end to time and let us walk into eternity. Oh, exciting. Yeah, eternity. Oh, Robin, I so badly wish that all mankind could see and understand Christ's victory. Me too. Over the world, over the supernatural and his promises to fix it all. The perfect tomorrows are just waiting for the children of God to see these things. Pretty soon, those who have been baptized into Christ's death, resurrected through his resurrection, and filled with the Holy Spirit to prepare their lot, to prepare their spirits for life in the kingdom mm -hmm. are soon to be rewarded with the rest of God's promises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as the word says, there's glorious days ahead for all creation as these children mm -hmm. begin to come on the scene. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> Yes, and according to scripture, it is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. <laughs> and because of what Jesus did mm -hmm. on the cross, we have been jubilant. <laughs> <laughs> and the earth and all creation on it will be returned back to, to us. us. That's right. That's right. And all Satan's plans will be squashed, along with those of humanity that follow him and all those who put their trust in man. Perfect tomorrows are soon to be perfect, perfect today. Two days. Woo! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> If you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, check out the related links in the description box below. You can also visit our website at trumpetsoftruth.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.